using a formula and changing the subject. Now this is quite a big topic but I'm just going to give you a few pointers on the way to go about these questions. Hopefully you will be able to use that to help you. So using a formula, i.e. substituting the values in for the letters. Now the key here is just to rewrite the formula with the numbers in. So 2w is 2 times w and w is 3 so 2 times 3 plus 2L, L is 5, so you've got 2 times 5, so P equals 6 plus 10, remembering we must times before we add, so we've got 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 5 is 10, and 6 plus 10 is 16, so P equals 16. So it's just about putting the numbers in and calculating what's there. Now if you've got something a bit more complicated, that can be quite tricky, but if you have your calculator, you'll have to use your calculator, as long as you've written this in so that it uh, is correct with the right numbers, you can then just type it completely into your calculator. So let's just bring up the calculator and have a look at that. So that whole fraction, 3 times 5 squared minus 4 times 5, and on the bottom we've got 2 times 5, and that gives us 11 over 2 which is the same as 5.5. Okay, so if you've got the calculator available to you, really it's just a case to put the numbers in and then type it into the calculator. Okay, changing the subject. Now this is a very big topic, but I'm just going to put, go through a few pointers for the basics. It gets a much more trickier this at the higher levels, but in level 7 it's not too bad. So, make L the subject. The idea there is to get L equals something where you rearrange this formula to get L on its own. And the easiest way to do that is to think of this as just numbers, so W is a number, I want to get to the other side, I just take it away because it's plus W here. So if I take away W from both sides, I've got P minus W equals L. So L equals P minus W. It's just written the other way around. So that's fairly straightforward, you're just taking the number something to the other side, it doesn't matter whether it's a letter or a number. Okay, slightly more complicated one where we've got L squared. It's the same starting point, so P minus W equals L squared. And then we've just got to think about how to undo the L squared. So we take a square root of P minus W. Make sure your square root sign goes over all of it. And the square root of L squared is L, so L equals the square root of P minus W. You really should write the subject on the left-hand side. Okay, it doesn't matter if there's a number involved, we just move that to the other side, so P take away 10 equals 5 WL. If I've got 5 lots, uh, uh, 5 times W times L, I can just divide straight away by the 5W and put all that over 5W, because 5W and 5W cancels to leave me with the L, so I end up with L equals P minus 10 all over. 5W. So there's a few pointers on how to do those sort of questions.